My name is Bertha Hanlock, and I'm here with scientist Velma Blake to explain exactly what natural selection is. Hi, I'm glad to be here and excited to share with you my thoughts on how natural selection occurs. Please share with us your thoughts. Getting right to the point, natural selection is all because of an environmental change, but there's a little more to it than just that. I see. Can you give us an example? According to my discoveries, I have found that unicorns value the process of natural selection. How do you mean? Over time, unicorns have gotten much thicker fur than they used to. We know that this is caused because of the climate becoming much colder than the previous generations. Because natural selection will take place, thin fur is no longer an adaptive trait. Thicker fur is. How did the unicorns develop thicker fur over time if some of them had thin fur to begin with? Well, we know that the unicorns had lots of variation in fur thickness, therefore the ones with thin fur could not adapt to the cold environment. Because they could no longer adapt, they died and could not pass their genes onto their offspring. There were always unicorns that had thicker fur, they just didn't thrive as well as the ones with thin fur. They now lived long enough to pass their traits onto their offspring, creating more unicorns with thicker fur. Would you please sum up the investigation you have experimented? Yes. In short, because the unicorns with thin fur could not adapt to the cold environment, they died. The unicorns with thicker fur were living long enough to pass their traits onto their offspring. Therefore, the unicorns with thicker fur became more common because of an environmental change of adaptive traits. This is how, over time, the unicorns adapted the distribution of thicker fur and are becoming more popular. Thank you for your time. That was Velma Blake with you all. I am Professor Bertha Hamlock signing off.